Hi everybody, Broken Eves here. Welcome to today's video. So today I've got a little cracker for you. This is specifically aimed at all those people that are running Microsoft Windows. Thinking of coming over to Linux. Have a distro in mind, but don't want to go through the hassle of downloading the ISO, burning it to a USB thumb drive, and then booting their computer from it, which is the preferred method. It's also ideal for anybody who wants to virtual box on a potato e-waste of a PC like mine. <clears throat> so if you want to have a look around virtually any Linux distro, uh, just go to this website. It's called distroc.com uh, and it will allow you to load up any distro of your choice and mightily gorgeous it is too here you can test drive any installation online you can also install it to a virtual box as well so <clears throat> there i think from what i've seen most of them are here um i don't think there's too many missing so let's just for argument's sake say I wanted to test drive Peppermint OS. Um, select a version of Peppermint OS you want to try online. Dev1 XFCE, GNOME, Debian XFCE or Debian GNOME. So let's go for the Dev1 XFCE. And then we have to wait in a queue, which you'd expect. It's a 100% free service. There's currently two users ahead of us in the queue. That's fine. Uh, and let's left click start peppermint <clears throat> so we're waiting in the queue at the minute once we've waited in the queue the virtual box will start if we press the f11 key on the keyboard it will full screen it for us there we go so we can now left click continue and we can run peppermint os virtually beautifully on a pc with a dual core processor and four gigabytes of DDR3 RAM, just as if we were running it locally. The power of the internet, eh? Now, what this will allow you to do is not only have a look around the operating system, it will also allow you to practice installing it in a virtual environment. So that when it actually comes to doing the real install, you'll be good to go. You'll be familiar with the installer. You'll know what you're doing. You'll know what the options are. And you can play around with it just as if it was running in a virtual box on your computer. It's very, very quick. Um, it's ideal and easy to use. You can have a look at all the stuff that the distribution comes with. If there's anything you don't understand, you can go and Google it and check it out. Uh, so you can, it's now called Kumo, it used to be ISSSB, it's now called Kumo, and you can create internet shortcuts to make them look like programs on your operating system. So we can open up the file manager, that's what the PepLive file manager looks like. Uh, I don't know what hub is, Peppermint Hub, this will open Pep Hub, and it just allows you to get fully familiar with the distribution right from your Windows installation before you go ahead and take the plunge. And I wish I'd have known about this site um, when I was first uh, getting into Linux about 17, 18, 19 years ago uh, because this would have saved so much hassle. Yeah, but Ebes, what? Uh, it wasn't available 17, 18, 19 years ago. Ah, that'd be why then. <laughs> Just saying, worries me. Warning, chub alert. And then if you want to go ahead and have a crack at installing it, just click on the installation icon and away you go. And you, as I say, you can walk through the installer. You can do it as many times as your heart desires. Once you finish with it, well, all you've got to do is terminate the session and you can go and load yourself up another one. I think it's 
a fantastic, wonderful free service that just allows you to get really familiar with any Linux distribution you may want to switch to. So if you're sitting there with Microsoft Windows 10 or Windows 11 on your PC thinking of coming over to Linux, well, you know, come and check distro C out. Uh, load some distros up. See what floats your boat. And have a go with it. Hey, what you got to lose with it? You want to have a go with OpenSUSE but haven't got a clue what you're doing? Well, you know, you can fill your boots. I mean, soulless OS still going. Wow. Tiny core tails. I mean, they're all in here. Ubuntu, Ubuntu Cinnamon, Ubuntu Kylin Mate, Ubuntu Studio, Ubuntu Budgie. They're all here. Ubuntu Unity. Mm. Zorin OS. Uh, I think that was one of Ghosty's favourites, Void Linux. Select a version. Uh, well, that might have been somebody else, actually, but I'm sure it was Ghosty that liked uh, the Void Linux. 2024, March the 14th of 2024. Uh, you already have a running session. Yes, we know. And that session will be terminated. Yeah, that's fine. Let's load up Void Linux, have a quick look around the void. Let's enter the void. <coughs> Obviously, not every distro on not every type of window manager is on this website. But then again, it's really aimed at having a look around and getting familiar with one of the more popular distros. Um, and what this site doesn't allow you to do is to build a Gen 2 distro or a... Uh, an Arch distro or Linux from scratch distro from scratch. <laughs> and there we go. There's our Void Linux booted up with the XFC interface. All good and ready to go. So I just wanted to share that with you all. Um, if you're thinking of a Linux distribution, uh, but you're not sure how to go about testing it or using it, well... Head on over to Distro C, fill your boots, and hopefully you'll be on your way to getting the Linux desktop operating system of your dreams. Thanks for watching, everybody. Please rate, comment, subscribe, thumb the videos up or down. I will see you for another wicked Broken Ebes video.